Hey guys, Meerkat here from Meerkat Hiking and I'm going to do a gear review today on a new piece of gear that I'm pretty excited about and I've used a good bit on the last trip. The seal skin waterproof hiking socks. I got mine in a, a large. Um, the large is good for sizes 9 through 11. Mine are called a hiking mid. Now Gary got a thinner version uh, just because he didn't want all the padding. Uh, I went with the heavier version to, just to make sure it was going to be warm enough uh, so that I could use them just by themselves. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the seal skin sock here and we're going to turn it inside out. And then we're going to hook it right onto the string here. And I have a bowl full of water. And what we're going to do is take a bowl full of water and we're going to put it in this sock and we're going to see if it holds water. So far, so good. That was about 12 ounces. So I had about 50 ounces or so of water in this bowl. Make sure it's tight. It's a lot of water. So I'm not I'm gonna have to just pour this in. See if I can get it. Make sure you guys can see it. So there's about 50 ounces of water in that sock. I'm going to go ahead and pull the bucket away because it is not leaking at all. It's completely dry. Look at that. You can see how much water is actually in that. And I'll spin it around here and it is still completely dry. The water level is about to here. I'm going to go grab some more water and uh, fill it up some more, but there's no leaks at all. That's awesome. All right, so I'm back here with another big bowl of water. We're going to just keep adding some more in. All right, so after the slip off the hook here, I have got the other sock and it's filled up to where it was. You can see, still, this is the other sock. No leakage, there's a ton of water in this thing. But we're gonna continue adding. I'm gonna put it back over the bucket. So anyways, we're going to We're about up to here with water. I 
All right, so what I have found is right up here at this edge is where it started to get some water out. Um, but this thing is completely full of water. And uh, let me bring it a little closer here. Look at that. No leaks. Completely dry on the outside here. Except for this little bit running down, but that's because of that's because of this right here. But wow. So let me angle the camera down. I'll show you how much water we actually have here. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this out and try not make a mess. So I got the sealskin socks right from Sealskin's website. Um, they're right around 50 bucks. There's been a bunch of different prices I've seen. Overall, they're not they're not too bad of a deal. Um, they really kept my feet dry. I mean, they they did sweat a little bit uh, during the day just because I wore them all day, so that they were wet on the inside from that. But with my uh, wildcats in the snow and the mesh, they were you know completely soaked kind of right off the bat. So my feet weren't cold the whole day of hiking. They they got cold when I was at camp. So that that to me that was that was fine because I can get the shoes dried out, I can get the socks dry out, or I can put a, a pair of sleep socks on. I could do something else there. But during the day of hiking they were dry. So to me that was a good thing. Um they do have a merino wool lining on the inside. And uh being that mine were the thicker ones, there's a there's a a nice thick layer inside just for padding. Uh and I, I thought they were pretty comfortable. Myself and Gary did kind of think to see if we could possibly use them as a camp shoe. And uh, I tried it on the Lowell Highlands Trail. And it didn't... Uh, it, I just felt like I was going to damage them. I mean, I could walk around in them and my feet weren't wet. The bottom of the socks were getting wet, obviously. And, but it, I could definitely feel it cold. I just didn't want to damage them. So... I, I don't think I'm going to go with that route. I think they're just going to be a winter thing. Now, I have seen online that you can get them in a couple other places. Uh, like I said, I ordered them from Sealskin's website, but I, I found online that you can get them from REI. Uh, I, Walmart has them. Uh, that's just kind of where I stopped looking after I seen a couple of those. But you can look around for them. You can, you can probably get a little better price. I was kind of in a hurry to make sure I had them in time for the uh, Lowell Highlands Trail. Overall, I think they're a pretty good sock. They're definitely a good addition for my winter setup. And uh, I like them. I like them a lot. So anyways, guys, this is Meerkat with Meerkat Hiking. Thanks for watching.